Pirate. Welcome to my channel, The River Pirate 13. Please stab that subscribe button. Today, we're going to sample a rum straight out of Barbados. And what is it called, mates? The Real McCoy, aged five years. Oh, that's going to be good. I know it will. So what do you say, River Pirate? What's got you uh, looking at The Real McCoy? Well, you know. I was doing uh, some reading up on uh, the Prohibition era, and I thought, uh, huh, very interesting. I didn't realize the America's first rum runner was uh, Captain Bill McCoy, and uh, what he did was pretty unorthodox. He uh, he was actually uh, he, he and his brothers built uh, speedboats for the uh, the very wealthy, like Vanderbilts and Carnegies and anybody else who was rich back then. But uh, he decided to go into rum running instead, and uh, he uh, got a boat and uh, would sit offshore in about three miles or more, and these other boats would come in, grab the liquor, and run it in. They'd pay him, and off they go. Uh, why he was uh, so sought after is, uh, unlike the copycat uh, rum runners of the time period, uh, he didn't dilute his liquor. It was the real McCoy. Uh, sometimes they'd put wood, uh, alcohol in it and uh, turpentine into, into their liquors. Oh, that's disgusting. Not him. No, he, he had the, the real deal. Or the real McCoy. Um, so, um, I saw a documentary uh, called uh, The Legend of Bill McCoy and uh, the Rum Wars. It was uh, a very great documentary. I enjoyed it. And uh, the uh, Bailey Pryor was the uh, guy that... Uh, I guess directed it. He got a bunch of Emmys for it too, I guess. Well, anyways, he was so fascinated by Bill McCoy's story that he went down to Barbados and uh, went to, I think it was Four Square Distillery and said, got to trace it down and said, hey, wait a minute. I think it's where Bill McCoy was getting his his uh, liquor back in uh, back in the 20s. I'm not sure, but it's, it sure looks like it. So anyways, this, uh, the master distiller, Seal, I think is his name, Seely, I'm not sure, Seely, I believe, said, okay, well, let's, let's start cranking it up again, and here we go, we've got the real McCoy is back. Uh, what separates this rum from uh, other rums is that uh, they don't add extra sugar or, or coloring or anything else, they leave it just like Bill McCoy would have approved. So you say, all right, well, let's open this bottle, right? I say, yes, let's open this bottle. So it's got this nice little label thing on the back. And you peel it up, so we got it there. Here it goes. It's starting to work. It's working. All right, let's pull it up. Oh, this looks good. Oh, man. Oh, look what the bottle, look what it's got. Oh, man, my favorite thing. All right, let's pop it. 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 Pop it. Oh, it popped. Uh, it's a, it feels like a plastic cork, but that's okay. The thought counts. All right, let's start. Uh, let's start pouring it. I think I'll pour a whole bunch in here because because I just not. Uh, I just want you to be able to see the coloring of it. Oh, it's got a nice, nice. Kind of a, a deep amber color to it. Very, very, very nice looking. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, does that smell well? So good. Mm, what do I smell? I smell oak. Definitely smell oak. Just like the hint of vanilla in there somewhere. And I don't smell alcohol. That's a good sign. It's very pleasant on the nose. Very pleasant on the nose. All right. I'm done talking about it. I'm starting to start drinking it. Oh, mates, this is good. Oh, I wish you could taste this. Mm. Initial sip. Very smooth. Just a, a very light cinnamon flavor to it. Mm, still tasting a little bit of vanilla in it. Uh, very smooth. A tiny bit of burn, but nothing to object from. Uh, let me take another sip, just in case. Mm. 
Very good, mate. Very good. I really like it. Um, so, what do I think? I think this is a delicious rum, and it's straight out of Barbados, so you can't go wrong. I mean, they got, you know, the spring water they got there is second to none. Um, and the flavor on it is just uh, fantastic. It's not, uh, there's no even, even the, uh, some rums when you drink it, they got this kind of a syrupy taste to them, you know, like you know that they've added like a pound of sugar in it or something, because there's no way, but not this one. Oh, man. This is good. So you ask me, River Pirate, is this a pirate rum? I say most definitely it's a pirate rum. Um, I'm going to do one other little thing on this one. I'm going to throw some ice in it to see if maybe I can open more flavors in it. It's one of those things I'm trying to remember to do because I drink my rum on the rocks. It's typically not neat. So let's just throw it in there and give it a second and See what we got now. Mmm, even more. I can taste the flavors. They're so strong. Oh man, that's it smoothed it out. It's not. It doesn't. Uh, uh, it was smooth already, but now it's like crazy smooth. Oh, this is dangerous. If you get drinking this, you'll be ten sheets of the wind. Holy cow, you'll start rum running somewhere. Anyways, um, with that, do I approve of this rum? I do. And I uh, love the fact that uh, uh, Bill McCoy is, he was only 40 nautical miles south of me. And uh, I actually went over down there to Holly Hill, where he used to live, and saw his home, which was built in 1905. And Saw where he kept his boat, the uh, Tomomaka. And uh, kind of neat that history is still present there. Uh, so, anyways, with that, I hope you stay safe. I know during the plague we're still having plague problems, but you know, uh, should have seen it in the 16th, 17th century. Holy smokes. You would have you come out of your cave. Holy cow. We pirates were just out on the high seas that's kept us kind of safe a little bit so with that keep drinking the rum shafar